Hey guys, it's Giuseppe here from Playing Flight. Got a lot of cool stuff to show you. Now, I know you may have seen it on our Facebook, but I think it'd be cool to actually see what the products we actually have actually look like in person ish. Because I'm here. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to do an unboxing or an unbagging of the new Pint Size Heroes, the science fiction edition, and the Dr. Seuss mystery minis, both from Funko. So, one here. So here, da -da 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 -da. so what, what we're going to do, open them both, and let's see what we got. Oh my god! Arguably one of my favorite movies, Predator. Now, I've been watching that movie since I was a little kid. Thanks, Don. And Marty McFly. Oops. <gasps> there you go. Look at them. Best crossover ever. Okay. So move this one down here. Now, Dr. Seuss. Alright, so. Now, do you know much about the, uh, Dr. Seuss, Tom? Just get in the head. And you must not hop on pop. Okay. Um, Alright. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's as much as we'll go with that one. And, <clears throat> boom. So, I know these take a little bit. So. First one is this person. That guy. He's a person. Um, okay. Ooh, and Horton. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Get out of the bag. Sweet. Alright, there we go. Okay, look at those. That's actually pretty good. I know, right? Look at him. He's got the little... He's got the thingy on the thing. Yeah, and then and the person on there. Voiced by Steve Carell and Jim Carrey. Ah. Isn't it fun to learn, Tom? Learning oh. is magic. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, this one is totally on Funko related, but... Crabs adjust humidity. So now, I've actually played this game. Actually, me and Marcus have played it. It's actually a fun game. Yeah. Now, um, if <clears throat> Cards Against Humanity you think is a little, you know, extreme, yeah, this one is a little bit more extreme. I actually prefer Crabs Against Yeah, but the thing <laughs> is, you can actually switch the cards. So, so if you own Cards Against Humanity, you can actually switch the cards in there, and it actually plays the same way. Yeah, it just adds on to it. Exactly. So, they go down there. <sighs> so now we got a lot of cool pops to talk about. Some of these I'm going to be able to talk about faster, because I have no idea what they are. So, I'm going to talk about this set over here. So we have the characters from My Hero Academia, Troll Hunter, and Levi. So, I'm assuming My, High, uh, My Hero Academia is about, uh, about a school? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> okay, so the name is not listed. And then, and then we got Levi from Attack on Titan. <laughs> He's the... Now you were now you were telling me, Tom, he's obsessed with cleaning. Yep. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds like me. I know. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. So now we got two. One of them's a restock, and one's a brand new one that we got in. So we got Ed from Shaun of the Dead. If you guys have never seen Shaun of the Dead, it is probably one of the funniest movies you will ever see. It's one of my favorites. And so we got uh, Nega Duck. So this is from the series of Darkwing Duck. And if you don't, a uh, brief thing on what Darkwing Duck is, it's Disney's comedic version of Batman. All right. And okay. what a great segue. Boom. Segue. Yay. Yay. Okay, so now we're going to get to one of these series I have been waiting for the longest, and I didn't think, and I didn't think they were actually going to do this, but this is actually a part uh, series two. Yep. All right. So from the Batman animated series, we have Catwoman, Scarecrow, and we're gonna do this in the characters that I really like. So we've got Clayface. That one's actually really good. I cool know. Looking. Now, my three favorites. So, we have Robot Batman. So if you've never seen this show, I highly recommend you watch it. These are probably the best incarnation of Batman and the Joker. And we've got Bane. No, no, okay, so now this one's more of a personal one for me. I'm, I'm not going to bore you with the story, but the Batman Mask of the Phantasm is one of my favorite Batman films of all time. And we actually have the Phantasm. 
Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. I know. Now, the cool thing is, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you watch Batman Mask of the Phantasm. Climbed. So, it's the first... It was one of the first cartoons I actually get a theatrical release back in 1993, maybe. Yeah. And, and uh, even Siskel and Ebert gave a good review. Exactly. Too. So, now all this is available on our website and in store. So, yeah. Uh, Giuseppe from Play and Collect. Say bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Uh. <laughs>